concerned are you about the projected decline in arrivals in 2011 as per the reports that you guys put out? Well, I think you have to take in anything a long-term perspective on things. And yes, there's no doubt about it, we're in a very diff difficult economic climate, particularly in the Eurozone, the States and the UK. And we've had the backdrop of what's happened in the Arab Spring. So it's created a climate of uncertainty. But the reality is, you know, tourism figures are showing growth and showing growth for the long term. We're anticipating, you know, 5% growth evolving over the next 12 to 18 months. And ultimately, if you look at the kind of arrivals that we can anticipate from those emerging destinations, such as the BRICS economy, you know, Brazil. something to be embraced and for other countries and destinations to look to take advantage of. It's interesting that you mentioned that because there's um, some research indicating that China is becoming one of the most important countries, be it from people wanting to visit China or Chinese tourists spending vast amounts of money. Do you think that is that where the growth is going to come from going forward, basically China and the emerging world? Is that, is that we're going to see a shift towards that part of the world? Well, I think what we're seeing is um, a shift certainly towards Asia. You know, with the combination of both China and India, both as huge inbound and outbound tourism markets. And they will be key drivers, and that's something that um, other countries and destinations look, need to look at in order to welcome those inbound visitors to their destinations. And it also gives a huge opportunity for China and India to showcase itself internationally on this international stage. One of the trends that we noticed is business tourism seems to be holding up rather well compared to leisure tourism. The Financial Times just this week reporting that the growth in business tourism is outpacing by far the growth in leisure tourism, even though maybe the value of what's spent is still not the same. Um, I'm, I'm curious, is this a trend that you've seen? Do, do you see business tourism perhaps holding up? Well, I think, you know, two years ago, business tourism took a really severe hit. But, you know, you can only stay in economic depression for so long. You've got to stimulate um, business and business growth. And therefore, that's why you see those trends in business tourism evolving. At present, when you look at the leisure market, you know, people are still sort of anxious and concerned about jobs and employment and looking at how their household budgets can actually cope. And I'm, you know, in 25 years, I have never seen, uh, you know, I've always said that the industry is extremely resilient and people will always take their holiday. But absolutely, for the first time in 25 years, I'm seeing people are really thinking about it. And that is a shift. And you mentioned earlier about the Arab Spring being one of the variables that have been introduced this year, something new that's happened. As an Arabic channel, we're, we're one of the largest pan-Arab channels in the region. Uh, we'd be interested to know what the global perspective is on what's happening in our region. What do you think the Arab countries should be doing? Some of them are rebranding, some of them have potential to rebrand, like Egypt and Tunisia. Others, it's a lot of, uh, a steeper battle for them. Uh, you know, as an industry expert, what should the Middle East be doing? Well, I think ultimately um, for the Middle East to succeed, there's got to be um, stability. And there is some of that in some destinations and not in others. What's very um, encouraging is that destinations like Egypt and Tunisia that have gone through this huge change have come back to promote their destinations extremely quickly, partly because tourism is so important to them as, as, as a destination from their own economies. But actually, we need to keep a perspective on things. You know, if, if the, the world is opening up, then that's a huge opportunity for everybody. And I think actually it's a very encouraging sign and will only lead to more tourists being interested in visiting those destinations in the future. And it's up to those destinations to market themselves effectively and attract travelers for the future.